Slimehouse TV, myself, the OK, and hope everybody is good. So a little bit of an impromptu drop today. Usually I stick to like a regular schedule on my YouTube, but I thought I'd drop a little extra video this weekend just to tell you about something that I'm wanting to run here and on my Instagram and all part of a video that I want to drop at the start of next month, like early next month. So it's a bit of a random thing that I want people to get involved with, with the thing that I'm talking about in today's video. But stick with me and I'll tell you where the little idea came from. So local to me, we have a toy shop called Smith's. It's not quite as cool as Toys R Us, but it's very similar to Toys R Us and I always go in when I go to the local retail park because I like to check out the reduced section, see what toys are on reduced at the minute. You can sometimes get some cheap like Masters of the Universe Origins and things if you go and you check out like the reduced section. I always go in and see if the McFarlane Warhammer figures have been reduced. They've not been reduced yet, they have been a little bit but not to the price point that I like to pick them up at. But I also go and I check out the new Avatar figures because they came out a few months ago and every time I go in they slowly get more and more reduced but I've been looking at one in particular that really took my fancy and I thought you know what when it goes down in price to a certain price point I'm gonna pick one up so Avatar is a weird franchise to me it's one that's like the biggest grossing movie ever but you don't really get people who are like hardcore collectors of Avatar toys at least I've not seen them maybe if I googled that shit I would see it but I never really see anybody with like giant collections of Avatar merchandise even though I do think the movies are cool and I enjoy them and like I said they're the highest grossing movies ever the Avatar movies I don't know if the sequel is yet but it's no doubt will be in there I went to watch it the other day and really enjoyed it but the thing that I always like about those movies the most is the artillery in them like the machines and shit that the humans use, the flying vehicles, the giant guns, the giant knives that the mech suits have and things like that. That's always the thing that I enjoyed the most out of seeing the Avatar movies. Even though I think they're like, obviously, a spectacular all in all. It's like the human military aspect of the stuff that I really enjoy when I watch those films. So when I saw that McFarlane were doing the new toys of them, obviously I thought, well, they're going to do a really good job regardless of how well the movie is received. Those toys are going to be fucking awesome either way. And they did not disappoint. I've gone into Smith's and I've seen them on the shelves and they've got Jake Sully and they've got the vehicle and they've got the big flying banshee dragon and stuff like that and the one thing that I kept looking at every time I went in was the amp suit the big mech suit it's the vehicle that Stephen Lang pilots in the first movie and I've always really liked it I always thought it was really cool even if you wasn't into Avatar you can still look at that mech suit and say yeah that's fucking awesome so when I saw that they'd released a big toy of that for the new McFarlane release obviously I wanted to get involved in it but when they first released them on the shop shelves they were like 50 quid if I remember when I first went in 50 quid and I thought you know what they're probably gonna go down in price in a few months like I said said Avatar is a big movie but you don't really get people that are like hardcore merchandise collectors so any of those toys that are on the shelf now chances are in a few months they're gonna go down in price and I wasn't wrong because I went in a couple of weeks ago and it had been reduced to 30 quid and I said to myself when it gets reduced to 20 quid I'm gonna pick myself one up so last week when I was out doing a bit of shopping and picking up some stuff for a big diorama that I'm building for a separate video at the minute I saw that they were reduced down to 20 quid and I thought you know what I'm a man of my word even though I just said it to myself and no one else I said when they go down to 20 quid I'm gonna pick one up so I did I grabbed myself one it came in a big box for 20 quid like they can't even make it for that it was an awesome thing to buy for 20 quid so I got it home and I was very happy with it so if you went to Smith's and picked one up or you got one delivered from Amazon, this is how it'll arrive. It comes in a big box, obviously. I took it out of the box and it looks awesome. And I've also put a Star Wars figure in there just so you can see how it scales. It basically scales perfectly with three and three quarter figures. So you can put a Star Wars figure inside it or you can put a corpse or a G.I. Joe figure inside it. So uh, I think it's a real nice scale to work with. And even if you just wanted one to put your corpse in or your G.I. Joes or your Star Wars figures, it's a real nice display piece as it is. He also comes with a couple of hands. So he's got this one so he can hold his rifle like that or he's got another more gripping hand where he can hold his big combat knife. So yeah, a couple of different options with hands as well. Like I said, for 20 quid, absolute bargain. But then it also got me thinking, I probably want to do a bit of a customization job on this. Don't really know what I'll do. Maybe I'll do a bit of a rust effect on it. Maybe I'll put a bit of moss on top of it. Maybe I'll make it look a bit more realistic. Or I could go the other way and spray paint it all a completely different color and completely theme it in a completely different way to what it is in Avatar. I haven't bought this because I'm the hugest fan of the Avatar movies. I've bought it just because I think it's an awesome mech suit and I love mech suit shit. But then it also got me thinking, because this would look so good customised in so many different ways, it's got so much potential, like I would love to see what other people come up with if they were to get one and they were to customise it in their own way. So what I decided to do just off the top of my head is run a little bit of a showcase slash competition over on my Instagram and here on YouTube. What I'm going to do is I'm going to customise this myself. I'm going to do a customisation job on this anyway, just because I want to do one. But because I'm doing one, it would be also nice to see what other people come up with if they decide to do one as well. Like I said, these are only 20 quid on Amazon. You can get one delivered to your house obviously while stocks last or you can go and pick one up from smith's if you live in the uk and if you're in america no doubt they've been reduced in price there as well but because they scale so well with the three and three quarter figures super seven reaction and stuff like that 
maybe you want to do something a little bit more crazy with it. Maybe you'd want to, like, theme it all around your favourite Star Wars character or your favourite G.I. Joe and spray it up and add other pieces onto it. Maybe you want to do something a little bit more, like, subtle, like I said, a little bit of a rust effect, a bit of moss on it and something like that. Wrap a bit of chain around it, do a bit of a post-apocalyptic vibe, put a saw blade on his hand instead of a gripping hand. There's so many different things you could do with this thing. You could take this plate off and put a roll cage inside and put some mesh around it and change it, like I said, into, like, some post-apocalyptic Mad Max shit. I'm thinking... Myself, I might go for like a more robot jocks kind of like competitive robot kind of thing. I don't know, but I'm going to sit down and wrap my brain and think about it. But while I'm doing it, I would love other people to get involved in this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to be putting out today an open invite to anybody else that thinks that they would also like to customize one of these mech suits to get involved in a showcase that I'm going to be doing over on Instagram and also here for a video on YouTube as well. If you think you've got an idea that's cool where you could get one of these amp suits and you could customize it in your own way and then show case it as part of the gallery and part of the YouTube video, then I want to openly invite you to get involved in this project with me. I would love to see what other people can come up with, what cool ideas people can come up with. Maybe you'll do like an Aliens Colonial Marine one. Maybe you want to paint it like your favourite Warhammer army, your favourite Space Marine faction, or you want to make it an Imperial Guard mech suit or a mech suit for your Orc army or something like that. What do you think of when you look at this mech suit, what you could create to be part of the gallery? So first of all, it's just about getting people involved and you getting one of these things for 20 quid and just creating it yourself and then sending me a photo so that I can put it as part of the gallery. But then what I'm also going to do is I'm gathering a panel of esteemed judges that are all going to help me pick our favourite one. And the person that wins it, I'm going to send you your 20 quid back via PayPal. So it's cost you nothing to create this thing. Obviously, it's going to cost you for the materials if you're going to buy paint and stuff to make it. But it's going to cost you nothing for the actual mech suit. And I know it's only a small gesture, but it's a fun little cool one nonetheless, I think. <laughs> But like I said, I've spoke to a couple of like really cool, well-known creatives in the field of toys and creative toys and art toys and designer toys and that kind of thing. And they're going to judge it along with me. So hopefully if we can get enough people involved, there will be a nice panel of esteemed judges to all look at your work. And I will also put them all on my Instagram. Like I said, I'm also going to do a video about it as well. So send me your photos when you've completed it and I will put all them in the video. And I just think it will be a nice, cool, creative, collective, collaborative project for us all to get involved with for something that like only costs 20 quid and you can get delivered to your house and with a little bit of uh, ingenuity and a bit of craftsmanship and a bit of customising and just having fun with it, we can all create something really awesome together. So what you've got to do if you want to get involved in this thing is write challenge accepted down in the comments below. If you don't want to comment publicly, hit me up on Instagram and write challenge accepted in a direct message. And then all you've got to do is order your mech suit, craft away, do what you need to do, You've got about a month. I'm going to tell you the date in a minute that I'm going to end it all by because that's when I'm going to be releasing the video with the winner and stuff like that. But you've got about a month from now to get this thing delivered to your house and just sit and have fun with it. And what I want to tell people about this thing is don't worry if you're not somebody that does crafting all the time. Maybe you're like a seasoned crafter. Maybe you're always doing Warhammer and that kind of shit. Maybe you're somebody that doesn't ever do anything like this but quite fancies getting involved in something like that at some point. This is a nice opportunity to do that. You've not got to scratch build anything from the beginning. You order this thing. You've got your book there. You've got your thing to work on. So you can just paint on the top of that, work on the top of that, stick stuff on the top of it, mold on top of it, melt it with a lighter, blow torch it, whatever you want to do. Just create something awesome, create a cool piece of art that I can feature in the video showcase on my Instagram and add as part of this cool collaborative project that we're all doing. And like I said, I've got a few people involved at the minute, but I'd like to get as many people involved as possible. So if you think it sounds like a bit of you, then like I said, write challenge accepted down below. And if you don't want to do this, then that's also obviously cool. Maybe you just want to order one of these for yourself because you wasn't aware that they were so cheap at the minute and you've always fancied one. Or you've never seen it before, but now that I've showed it on this video, now you want to get yourself one. I often show so many like rare vintage toys on this show. It's obviously sometimes nice to show something that's very easily accessible and you can just go and click and buy one right now. So if I'm talking about deadlines, when you've got to do this thing, how long you've got to finish it. I originally said the 4th of April. I'm going to extend it for another week and said the 11th of April. So the 11th of next month is the deadline for when it all needs to be done for. And all you've got to do is email me the image of it. You can either email me. I'll put my email down below or you can just drop me a direct message with it on Instagram or something like that. Just tag me in the picture, send it me on Facebook, whatever. But as long as you've got it finished for the 11th of April next month, then I will feature it in the video. I'll put it on my Instagram. It's going to be seen by an esteemed panel of judges who are all really cool creatives in their own field who have their own like followings and own careers and are big on Instagram and stuff like that. So it's going to get seen by some cool people. I'll showcase it in the video. And like I said, whether you're somebody that does this kind of thing all the time and is really good at painting and are like a certified modeling crafter or you're somebody that's never done anything like this before but you just enjoy an arty project or you've just fancied doing something like this and never really had the opportunity to do it, then this is a perfect opportunity for you to get involved in 
doing something. There's, uh, it's going to be a lot of fun, and I really hope we get a lot of people behind this so that we can like have a really cool, uh, a really cool showcase of everyone's work at the start of next month. So I'm going to go away and start working on mine. If you follow me on Patreon, I'll put some updates over on my Patreon as well as I'm working through it so you can see my progress shots and things like that. And uh, my hardest thing at the minute is just trying to whittle down to one idea because I've got so many different ideas that I'd like to do. But uh, I'm sure that by the start of next month, I'll have something that's really cool that I can show you. Like I said, I think I might go down the robot jocks route, but I don't know yet. Uh, either way, it, it will be something that's uh, interesting to say the least. So I hope you enjoyed this video today. Like I said, a bit of an impromptu one, bit of a random one, but... Hopefully we can get a few people involved in this and we can make a nice video for the 11th that Tuesday Toy Talk Tuesday on the 11th can be showcasing mine and everybody else's that got involved in the project. Let me know down below your thoughts on the video and like I said if you want to get involved in it just write challenge accepted and make sure that you inbox me the picture of your mech suit before the 11th of April. With all that said and done like I said I'm going to crack on with mine. I hope you enjoyed this video today. I'm Theo Kane. This is Slimehouse TV and I will catch you in the week for the regular upload schedule but until then I'm gone. <laughs>